Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer September 2023 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture. I'm going to share with you the highlights of this month's survey. The Ag Economy Barometer Index fell nine points compared to last month. That leaves the index six points below a year earlier and 18 points below two years ago. The decline in the barometer was driven by declines of both the Current Conditions Index and the Future Expectations Index. Both of those indices fell 10 points compared to a month earlier. That left the Current Condition Index 10% lower than in September of last year and left the Future Expectation Index 3% lower than it was in September of 2022. The Farm Financial Performance Index was unchanged compared to August, but the index was down 13 points compared to a year ago, and that left the index 24 points below where it was two years ago. We continue to ask producers what their biggest concerns are for the upcoming year, and high input cost remains the top concern among producers, but that's followed closely by the concerns about rising interest rates and lower crop and or livestock prices. The Farm Capital Investment Index was up two points compared to last month, and that left it eight points higher than it was a year ago at this time. We followed up with those who said it is a bad time to make large farm investments, and 40% of them said it was because of the impact of rising interest rates. Farmers remain cautiously optimistic about farmland values. The short-term farmland index was unchanged from August, but that left an index three points higher than a year ago, and the long-term index, which looks at the five-year outlook for farmland values, was up two points compared to August, and actually up 14 points compared to a year ago. This month's survey included several questions about farmers' use of cover crops in their farming operation. The questions were targeted at corn and soybean growers, and 52% of those corn and soybean growers said they plant cover crops, but nearly half of them said they do it on 25% or less of their farm's acreage. That wraps up the highlights for this month's survey. You can get the full report available on the Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Barometer website, which is purdue.edu slash agbarometer. You can also get some more details on our podcast, which is Purdue Commercial Agcast, which is available on major podcast providers and at purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.